Now, one of the things I love about seascape photography is that every single wave will be different. The challenge also, and what I don't like, is that wherever I'm pointing the camera, it seems that the waves we're looking for are in the other directions. Welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the vlog, and welcome back to the stunning Clogher Strand and Clogher Beach in Dingle. Now, I haven't been to this location since last September when I had um, Michael, Maz and Nigel over, and this is one of the beaches that we came to. And I've always said that it's always good to return to a location many, many times because you're always gonna get different conditions. And even looking here, behind me you can see these waves are big once again we're at the back end of storm Kathleen which came to Ireland yesterday and I've sat here for around about maybe an hour waiting for if I can show you here these clouds to swallow up the sun the challenge that I had was that it was clear blue skies so there was no real opportunity for me to get a shot but now that the cloud is there it's covering over as well the uh, brightness or the harshness that's there. Now I'm at the top of high tide now as well at the moment so the tide is quite strong um, but I'm at the very back end of the beach and I'm relatively safe but if you look at these waves as they're coming in here behind me they're quite large and substantial so you always have to have your wits about you particularly on this beach anyway because there's a ferocious riptide that comes through and it can knock you off your feet, can take you out to the water. You're not allowed to swim here as well. So yeah, if you ever do come to this beach, always exercise caution. But now what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to take a shot that I'm gonna try and replicate. So when the guys were over, uh, Michael Shane Bloom took a shot, which is one of his favorite shots of the year. And I'm delighted that it actually made it into that list because he's a phenomenal photographer, but um, it was also one of my favorite shots that, of that trip as well, even though I didn't take it. But today I've got relatively similar conditions, so I'm gonna try and replicate the shot that Michael would have gotten as well here on one of the rocks because the waves are breaking quite strong on it. So I don't know, maybe I'll be able to do it, maybe I won't. But definitely one thing is for sure is that we've got some big waves, so I'm definitely gonna have some nice wave action. So yeah, let's go. Right, so I'm over now in the location that I know Michael was at when he took that shot. And to be fair, it is a good spot for composition. What I know he liked in relation to it was that you had the rock, but you also have the cliffs behind it. So it acts as a very dark background. And then with the waves as well, gives you that brightness. Now, the sun, as you can probably tell by me, has come back out again. So that cloud that was working to my favor has now buggered off. So I'm having to deal with the harshness in relation to the light. But nonetheless, that's not going to stop me because these waves as they're crashing here are phenomenal. So at the moment here, i am got the camera at one one thousand of a second. I've got my ISO at 100. And then I'm just changing my aperture depending if it's too bright or too dark. And I've got a couple of shots that the waves as they come in and they break on it are absolutely stunning. Now I know that I will be very, very lucky to get a shot even at remotely close to Michael's. Not because he's a better photographer, which by the way, he is. And if you haven't heard of Michael Shamebloom, go check him out. But the reason I'm not gonna be able to get the same shot 
waters because every wave is different and the water comes in in a different pattern every single time. I might get close enough to it, but what I really like in relation to Michael's is that you've got this angular shape of the rock and then you've got the wave kind of replicating that coming in from the other side. I can see some of these waves that are there are absolutely monstrous. What I'll do actually here is I'll do a quick bit of video here and give you a look at some of the waves as they're crashing on those rocks and then I'll give you a look at the first set of shots that I've taken as well then at that point. So yeah, here's the next part. Talk to you again in a while. Right now I don't know if I like having the sun in my images or not. Well, it's not actually in my images, it's out blazing, as you can see here behind me. But what's that allowing me to do is to have a very fast shutter speed. There's no sun in the image because I'm zoomed right into that same rock that you would have seen earlier on. Now, when we were here the last time, actually, we had light everywhere else except for where we wanted it. And on my own video here, I missed the best of the light because I had to go and get Maz, who was up on one of the cliffs on the other side of the peninsula. So I missed all the golden light, but nonetheless, I'm not here in relation to that. I'm here to try and get that shot of that one rock. Some of the settings that I have at the moment as well, playing around one, two thousand, one, 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 two thousand and fiftieth of a second, um, I think is the right way to be able to go. Taking a couple other shots as well of a rock that's closer. That's nice there, the way that it's breaking over that and the, the wave is just exploding. And I'm going to try and get a couple of shots here of just the water, because the water here is crystal clear and you can see the turquoise blue coming through when the sun is shining directly through the tops of the waves. So that's what I'm going to do uh, next. Talk to you then uh, once I get to that. Give me a look at some of the other shots I've taken in the meantime, but talk to you then once I get to that next shot then. <laughs> Now, one of the things I love about seascape photography is that every single wave will be different. The challenge also, and what I don't like, is that wherever I'm pointing the camera, it seems 
that the waves I'm looking for are in the other direction. So I've gone over to the right hand side headland, taken a couple of shots of that. Then there's a single solitary rock that's further out here with on farm behind it. And as I was framing up a shot, I could see waves breaking everywhere else except for where I wanted it. And then I said I'd move in along the cliff. Think I managed to get a couple of shots anyway in relation to that, that the waves are breaking there. But now as I started to record this, I just set up a bit of video in the off chance that I capture one of these waves that are breaking on that big rock. And guess what? Just as I press record on this, I see one breaking outside. So hopefully I've gotten that on video anyway. Um, but nonetheless, now I think I've gotten the shot that I came to get. I've kind of exhausted the other areas that are there. There's a big bank of cloud now just about to swallow up the sun. So that's going to change it completely. And what I'm hopeful for is that that cloud stays here long enough to enable me to be able to get some god rays or crespicular rays. I'm going to continue on along the coastline here now in Dingle and hopefully I'll get some of those as well on the islands in the outset anyway. I'm going to finish this up this episode. Be sure to join me next Wednesday for Behind the Raw where I'll pick one of these images here and I'll do an edit and I'll talk you through my thoughts, my workflow and the editing process as well. And hopefully I'll be able to do a shot just as like Michael would have done from when he captures anyway here. But now look, as you can see, that cloud there now has just taken the sun. So the glorious light that's there is now gone, which means that I can't get the fast enough shutter speed I think that I'm looking for, but nonetheless, I still enjoyed it. And I hope you enjoyed as well coming along on this episode with me. So if it's your first time on the channel, please hit the subscribe button, give me a like, give me a comment, and until the next time, schlong the fall. Then there's a speed on the rock.